The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal Birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there.
Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage One, we'll go. Stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we can win wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, stick to him like blue. Don't let him out of your sights even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins.
Shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. But I haven't even broken a sweat. This would be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabid dog would know better. Missile incoming! Get ready! Break! Break! What the hell? Caution! Missile! Caution! A large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft, stay alert. We 
just learned that Erusia is utilizing the Arsenal Bird. Those bastards. They had that thing combat ready this whole time. Enemy has a radar lock. Break, now! This trigger. I can't get away from this man. They're dodging everything I These guys are definitely a step above the last drones. Damn, they're agile. And there's too many of them. These guys move down easy. Missile. Missile. All aircraft. No change in game plan. Missile. Destroy the arsenal bird. You have not done that thing? God help us. It's hard enough just keeping up with the drones. Gold Squadron, take out big baby Huey. I can't get a lock. I can't shake it off. It's matching me move for 
Mage 2, lower speed. Your approach looks good. Stay on course. Mage 2, bank left. Pass the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Nicely done, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Stand by for further orders. Be ready for your next sortie. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces. Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel II was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing the stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck and one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. 
I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circumpacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erusian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We'll send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot who will head up this strategy is you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone.
Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Operation area, imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. formation in the clouds. Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. We've been spotted. Abort mission. Sea Goblin and back. Evacuate now. Enemy fighter presence confirmed. Request some response. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay. You're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. Mage 2's in the clouds.
the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. Situation normal. No change. RTV going home. Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry, we're watching over you. Progress, Trigger. You're currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, we got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. You're three-fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Let me a hand, Trigger. Rendezvous point dead ahead. Hang in there. Trigger, the first stage of the mission is clear. Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. 
sir. We feel the same way. We'll figure something out. Eliminate all enemy UAVs. Don't let up. We found an Russian transport trap. His engines are on. I heard you were the Air Force member. Mage 2, 
shot down a bandit. Roger. Sending UAV to the transport. Call warning. Orders are to fire warnings. Call warning. Yes, sir. He's an old guy. Has no clue how UAVs are used. Mother Goose One, UAV on your tail. Take evasive action. Oh, I hear you. But this isn't exactly a point. Understood. An arsenal bird is on its way. Strategic AI fire. chose security over justice. Courses have already changed. Mage 2, down any UAVs near Mother Goose 1. Enemy UAV down. Great job, Trigger. Mother Goose 1 has been shot down. Squadron, Mother Goose One is heading south. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ 101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose One. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Golem 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Golem 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Vilko, forming up! Radar lock acquired. Locked on me. Golem 3, Fox 2! Roger, sending you. Squadron, Mother Goose One is heading south. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ 101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose One. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Golem 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Golem 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Vilko, forming up! Gargoyle, change radio frequency. 
Keep your fingers crossed. Gargoyle, it's time. Attention, Gargoyle Squadron, Babel, Babel, Babel! What? Gargoyle 3 to Babel. Babel, Roger. One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage two fired that. There was no chance. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose One exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the element. Erosian bastards. They just killed a hero. Mage One. Is it Trigger? <sighs> Trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye in the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There will most probably be a court-martial. <laughs> 